Hi, I'm Paul. I'm here to tell you about some work done to support Dwarf version 5, done by myself, uh, Pavel, and Wolfgang um, over the past year, and why you care. Um, and it's not about what's in the dwarf. I'm not talking about it in functional terms. Uh, there's a lot of people that have been contributing. Come back next year for that talk. Um, so it's all about what's in the object file. The different uh, object file sections used by Dwarf, they all start with .debug. You have your main debug info, which points to names of things which are kept in a string section, debug stir, uh, line tables in debug line. And we have a couple of uh, name lookup accelerator tables. Um, one reason you care is Dwarf is huge. Uh, it ranges from anywhere from the majority to the vast majority of the content of your executable. A uh, wall of numbers, look at that later. Uh, so Dwarf 5 does a few things to improve turnaround time. In the main info, we're reducing relocations. The, all of the references from the main debug info to debugster are relocations, so we can have fewer of those. Line table has some duplicated strings, we can eliminate that. Uh, the name index, uh, the old name index is pretty useless, so we had a smaller and actually useful one. Uh, uh, there's also a feature called Split Dwarf, um, but Clang already implemented that, so I won't talk about that either. We have five minutes, you know. So um, here's a representation on the left is uh, sort of a sketch of what's in the debug info. It has talks about different declarations, and it points to strings that are the names of things in the debugster section. You'll notice that uh, the second string on the right has multiple pointers to it. Each of those is a relocation. Uh, let's see if we can figure out how to have fewer relocations by, of course, adding a layer of indirection. Uh, so we have a table of string offsets. We have, one, instead of one relocation per reference, we have one relocation per unique string. And then we just use index numbers into the table from the main debug info. Uh, this has a significant <laughs> reduction in the number of relocations and a build of clang, 44% uh, fewer. That's a, a lot less work for the linker to do. Uh, we do lose a little bit of size because of the extra table that we're writing. Uh, in the line table, every compilation unit has a long list of the directories and files that are used by that compilation. These are strings that are embedded directly into the line table, and, they're, and all the green stuff is stuff that is replicated in every compilation unit. Uh, for you know, builds when you have lots of files in the same project. Uh, so we can replicate those into, uh, sorry, factor those out into their own string section and uh, save a lot of space. Uh, this introduces some relocations, but the space savings is definitely worth it. So we have on the left v4, on the right we have v5, which is actually 2% bigger with a bunch of relocations. I thought we were saving space. Uh, and what, but, but once the linker is done with it, then we are actually 8.5% uh, smaller. On the uh, name index, uh, version 4, older versions of Dwarf had a actually fairly useless uh, name index, um, which was huge, as well as being useless. Um, so in version 5, we defined a new uh, format. Um, Pavel uh, went in and implemented this, so we have a, it's only about a third of the size of the old tables, and LLDB can use it directly instead of having to build its own table from scratch. Uh, he went in and did some measurements. Um, we got a four times speed up in wall clock time on a dual core hyperthreaded CPU. Uh, because LLDB builds its internal table in parallel, if, if uh, you're using version four, uh, you'll have less speed up if you have more cores, uh, but I'm okay with having smaller machines have uh, a better speed up. And so I guess the, the pedal to the metal, real, the, the final question, is it really faster? I did some measurements of linking clang, um, and it is faster. Ha, 16% faster. So my Olympic dwarves. Smaller, stronger, faster. Thank you.